Introduction It is summer vacations. Sanjay and Rahul both are enjoying the game of carom. Suddenly, the light went off and the fan goes off. After few minutes, Rahul and Sanjay both were sweating. Brother, I am so much sweating. Why is it happening? Me too, brother. This happens because of the presence of sweat glands just below the skin. And with the help of sweat glands, we excrete the water from the body. You know that the major excretory organ of our body are kidneys, lungs, liver and skin. This is too interesting, brother. Will you tell me more of it? Sure. In this lesson, you will learn excretory products and their elimination in human body. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Explain human excretory system Describe urine formation Discuss functions of the tubules Explain mechanism of concentration of the filtrate Discuss regulation of kidney function. Explain micturition. Explain briefly role of other organs in excretion. List disorders of the excretory system. Human excretory system. The excretory system of the body separates and gives off the waste from the body, usually as urine or sweat. Urinary system consists of kidneys, ureters, bladders and urethra. Kidneys are bean-shaped, reddish-brown in color and lie on the posterior abdominal wall. Each kidney in an adult human weighs about 150 gram and measures approximately 10 cm in length, 5 cm in width and 2.5 cm in thickness. The renal helum is a vertical cleft present on the concave medial margin. It is the entrance to space within the kidney, the renal sinus. Through renal helum, the renal artery enters and the renal vein and renal pelvis leave the renal sinus. The renal sinus is thus occupied by the renal pelvis, calluses, vessels, nerves and a variable amount of fat. The renal pelvis is the flattened, funnel-shaped expansion of the superior end of ureter with projections called calluses. Kidney tissues consists of an outer region called the cortex and an inner region called the medulla. Medulla is made up of triangular areas of renal tissue that are called renal pyramids. Pyramids are 4 to 14 in number and separated from each other by cortical columns of betini. Each pyramid surrounded by a shell of cortex constitutes a lobe of the kidney. Microscopic structure of kidney Each kidney contains approximately 1.2 million nephrons. Nephron is a structural and functional unit of the kidney and each nephron is capable of forming urine. A nephron consists of two major parts. Renal corpuscle Renal tubule Renal corpuscle Renal corpuscle or malafigian corpuscle is a rounded structure consists of glomerules surrounded by glomerular capsule. Glomerulus refers to a rounded tuft of inosculating capillaries. Blood enters the glomerulus through an efferent arteriole and leaves it through an efferent arteriole. Glomerular capsule, also known as Bowman's capsule, encloses the glomerulus and is formed of two layers. The inner layer covers the glomerular capillaries, is called visceral layer and the outer layer is called parietal layer. Renal tubule it is a long complicated tubule that is divisible into following main parts. Proximal tubule The proximal tubule initially forms several coils. Proximal convoluted tubules PCT followed by a straight segment. Proximal straight tubule PST Loop of Henle consists of descending thin segment, ascending thin segment and thick ascending limb. In juxtamedullary nephrons, the DTS joins ATS to form the hairpin band. The ATS reaches 
up to the junction of outer and inner medulla. In cortical nephrons, there is no ATS. The DTS is continuous at the bend of loop with the thick ascending limb. Near the end of thick ascending limb, the nephron passes between its efferent and efferent arteriole. This short segment of the thick ascending limb is called macula denta. Distal convoluted tubule. It begins a short distance beyond the macula densa and extends to a point in the cortex when the connecting tubules of two or more mitochondria. Urine formation There are three processes involved in urine formation. First is glomerular filtration. As the blood flows through the glomerulus, it contains both useful chemicals and dissolved waste products which are soaked from the blood through membranes by osmosis and diffusion where it is filtered and then flows into the Bowman's capsule. This process is called glomerular filtration. It consists of water, salt, glucose and other chemicals. The normal glomerular filtration rate GFR in an average sized man is about 125 milliliter per minute. Second is tubular reabsorption. It is the movement of solutes and water back into the bloodstream. It changes the composition of glomerular filtrate and reduces its volume markedly. And the third is tubular secretion. In secretion, substances move out of the blood into the tubules where it mixes with water and other wastes and then they are converted into urine. Function of the tubules Proximal convoluted tubule PCT The proximal tubular cells are characterized by the presence of brush border on their luminal surfaces. The brush is composed of thousands of villi, which increases the absorptive surface area of each cell by 20 folds. The proximal tubules reabsorbs approximately 67% of the filtered water Na+, Cl-, K+, and other solutes. Almost all the glucose and amino acids filtered by the glomerulus. The proximal tubule secretes H+, urate, penicillin, sulfonamides, and creatinine. Function of the tubules. Penlase loop. About 20% of the filtered Na+, and Cl-, 15% of filtered water, and cations such as K+, Ca2+, and Mg2+, are reabsorbed in the loop of Henle. In thin descending limb of loop of Henle, water is absorbed passively and it is accompanied by diffusion of sodium ions from interstitial fluid into tubular lumen. In thin ascending limb of loop of Henle, limited passive reabsorption of Na+, and Cl- occurs in this water impermeable limb. Because of impermeability to water, the fluid leaving this limb is hypotonic relative to plasma. Distal convoluted tubule DCT In the initial segment of distal tubule, it reabsorbs Na+, Cl- and HCO3- and secretes hydrogen and potassium ions collecting duct. It reabsorbs water to produce concentrated urine. Mechanism of concentration of the filtrate A counter current system refers to a system in which the inflow runs parallel to, counter to and in close proximity to the outflow of some distance. The counter current flow system is formed by U-shaped tubules. In kidney, loop of Henle and vasa recta form the counter current system. The close proximity of loop of Henle and vasa recta is responsible for production of hyperosmolarity and a gradient in the renal medulla. This gradient is caused by NaCl and urea. The ascending limb of the loop of Henle transports NaCl and then exchanges it with the descending limb of the vasa recta. This is called the single effect. Due to multiplication of single effect, the osmolarity of interstitium rises progressively from cortex to medulla and papilla. Urea plays an important role in the development of medullary osmotic gradient. Countercurrent exchange 
of solutes between ascending and descending vasa recta minimizes solute washout from the medullary interstitium. This transport of substances is called counter current mechanism. Regulation of kidney function The function of the kidney is regulated by hypothalamus, juxtaglomerular apparatus and heart. Antidiuretic hormone is produced in the hypothalamus of the brain and released into the bloodstream from the pituitary gland. It increases fluid retention and makes kidneys to reabsorb more water. Hypothalamus releases ADH when osmoreceptors in the hypothalamus detect an increase in the osmolarity of the blood above 300 milliosmoles per liter. At this stage, osmoreceptors cells promote thirst. Drinking reduces the osmolarity of the blood and it stops the secretion of ADH. Due to the decrease in blood pressure in the efferent arteriole of the glomerulus, JGA releases an enzyme, renin, into the bloodstream. Renin initiates a chemical reaction that converts a plasma protein called angiotensinogen to a peptide called angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 increases blood pressure by constricting arterioles. Angiotensin 2 also increases blood volume by signaling PCT to reabsorb more water and NACL. Angiotensin 2 activates the adrenal cortex to release aldosterone. Aldosterone induces DCT to absorb more water and sodium ions. It leads to increase in blood volume and blood pressure. Atrial natriuretic factor ANF is released by the heart due to the increase in blood flow through the atria. ANF causes the dilation of blood vessels due to which blood pressure decreases. Micturition Micturition is the process by which urinary bladder empties when filled. Events in the process of micturition are filling of urinary bladder and emptying of urinary bladder. As urine collects in the renal pelvis, the pressure in the pelvis increases and initiates a peristaltic contraction beginning in the pelvis and spreading along the ureter to force urine towards the bladder. Once urinary bladder is filled, the receptors on the wall of bladder send signals to central nervous system. CNS passes messages to bladder so that smooth muscles of the bladder contract and urethral sphincter relax causing the release of urine. Role of other organs in excretion Lungs, liver and skins are also helpful in the excretion of wastes. Lungs excrete carbon dioxide and water vapor. Bile pigments are produced by the liver from the breakdown of old red blood cells. Bile is used for breaking down fats. In this way, it helps in excreting unneeded waste from our body. Skin has sweat and sebaceous gland. Through sweat, it excretes small amount of water, urea and salts. The main function of sebaceous gland is to protect the skin. It secretes an oily substance known as sebum and lubricates the hair and skin. It also reduces the growth of microorganisms over the skin. Disorders of the excretory system Uremia When the urinary waste is accumulated in the blood, then it is termed as uremia. It is also called azotemia. It may lead to kidney failure. Kidney transplant and hemodialysis are the cure for uremia. In hemodialysis, urinary waste from the blood can be removed by the difference in the diffusion rate through a semi-permeable membrane. In kidney transplantation, kidneys are transplanted from a healthy person to a person with non-functioning kidneys. Renal calculi It is also called kidney stone. A hard mass is formed in the urinary tract that causes pain, bleeding and infection. Glomerulonephritis It is a kidney disease in which the part of kidneys that filter waste and fluids from the blood is damaged. Did you know? Liver can regenerate itself. 
kidneys represent only 0.5% of the body's total weight. Kidneys filter about 2 gallons of blood in an hour. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Urinary system consists of kidneys, ureters, bladders and urethra. Nephron is a structural and functional unit of the kidney. A nephron consists of two major parts that are renal corpuscle and renal tubule. There are three processes involved in urine formation that are glomerular filtration, tubular reabsorption and tubular secretion. In kidney, loop of Henle and vasa recta form the counter current system. The function of the kidney is regulated by hypothalamus, juxtaglomerular apparatus and heart. The events in the process of micturition are filling of urinary bladder, emptying of urinary bladder. Lungs, liver and skin are also helpful in excretion of wastes. Disorders of the excretory system are uremia, renal calculi and glomerulonephritis.